Good evening everybody and uh, welcome to yet another very short video on custom maps in Rust and this one is going to cover hosting your own server and my good friend Whiskers here has done us a really great favour and he has made it pretty much one click we've got a server going we've taken the hard work out of it because so many of you have really been struggling with getting your servers started your batch files we we sat down and knuckled it out i gave him the concept of what we wanted he is a bat file master and uh so here we go um the link to these folders will be in the description there will be one for a zip file and one for an exe if you don't want to use the exe and i understand why feel free to use the zip folder it's just the same you just need to extract it to your c drive and follow the process from there it's that simple but for the purpose of this video we're going to use the exe so click on the link it'll take you to a no file io and simply download this if you're using google chrome and i imagine firefox will be the same it's going to prompt you do you want to keep this this isn't a large folder um, it's it's basically just steam cmd and the bat file with that whiskers wrote telling it what to do and um yeah basically just click keep on whatever browser you're using and uh it'll pop up once you've done that navigate to your downloads folder and look for rust server double click on that and then click run uh, when it prompts you for the directory all of our bat files have been programmed to just work from where they install to so just delete all everything and just leave c colon slash and then click extract this will take a certain amount of time depending on your computer once you've done that you need to navigate to rust server in your steam in your system c drive and then i would like you to right click on the rust folder uh, the rust server dot bat file and click edit inside here you can do things like change your name you can identify your server's name here and for the purpose of the example we've just set it up for my server and for the intent of this example for everybody who just wants to get started the server will not go live unless you change a couple of parameters but they're not very much you don't have to change many parameters and it will be live to everybody but for now it's just local if you wish to make it go live you need to change this directory here to an externally hosted url and you can do that on a dropbox or if your map file is small enough you can even use discord um, if you're going to be using dropbox at the end of your link will be a zero you need to change that zero to a one and it's very simple basically everything else is set up here to go um, if you have a map that you wish to load up that's awesome just change this section here to the name of your map dot map and it will still load once you've got that you need to get your my map file or whatever you've called it from wherever you may have saved it from whichever editor you may be using mine is saved on my very messy desktop and we're just going to copy that we're going to navigate back to c drive rust server and we've made a maps folder here and you just simply place your maps folder there go back into the rust server directory folder and then simply double click on the batch folder what's going to happen here is it's going to tell CM, steam cmd to download all of the rust content folders and once it's done that it will then boot your server and connecting to it will be as simple as pressing f1 in your client and typing client.connect space localhost colon 28015 and that should connect you to your server once it is loaded up pretty easy hey guys pretty easy just going to double check that that's the port we used and it is the port perfect now also if you wish to make this go live um, you're going to need to access your router I'm not going to do it because my particular router is different to everybody else's router there may be some people with the same but you can use portforward.com to figure out how to port forward ports for your router and I will also leave a link to that web page in the description of the video cool I'm probably going to speed this up the bat file has found my map dot map in a maps folder and everything is starting to generate 
Uh, this is my NZ versus AU map, so there is quite a few things for it to build. So it may take a little while. But all the yellow text you're seeing in the window flying up saying calling nav mesh, this is completely normal and everything that it's doing is fine. If you see red, you might want to like get at me on Discord and scream at me and go, your thing's broken and it doesn't work. Um, also, is what we are seeing here, it is saying, Windows Defender Firewall has blocked these applications. Okay, so you're going to have to open it up here if you would like it to touch the internet. And if anybody is struggling making their server go live, I will put up an advanced port for uh, an advanced um, firewall opener for people who wish to make their servers go live who have no experience in opening the ports advanced more uh, opening the ports windows side it's a little bit more advanced than just saying allow access but for now i'm just going to click cancel and as you can see everything is working perfectly fine these yellow lines of text here those are just the bat file saying hey these things don't exist we're just going to create them so that's completely normal and that concludes um how to host a rust server really easily uh, don't forget to connect, you type client.connect space localhost colon 28015. Cool, thanks guys. Have fun.